Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July if you celebrate the 4th of July. Um, I tried to record a video yesterday but the battery on my camera went dead and so I wasn't able to do so but I'm back today and I do want to let you know that I finished my book on time. Side note, it's hella hot so if I'm a little shiny it's because it's hot as Hades outside and I just came in from work and I haven't had a chance to cool off but if I don't make this video now I'm not gonna make it okay um no more rambling sorry so the book for the week was the taste of salt by Martha Southgate and like I said I finished the book on yesterday I'm going to put the book's description down below um, in the little information box so you can read what the book was about in a nutshell, I'm going to try not to tell the story as always because I don't know whether or not you would like to pick up the book um, and read it for yourself. So the book tells the story of Josie Henderson um, and the majority of the book is told by Josie. I love the way that the author allowed the other characters in the book to tell their own story, but I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Josie is... Um, she grew up with a family who, with a father who was an alcoholic. He wasn't um, physically abusive or anything like that, but he did have a problem with alcoholism and a mom who kind of, you know, just wanted to sweep all that under the rug and not, you know, try, try her best to hide it from her children. Um, so she grew up in, in that type of family in Cleveland. Um, very strange that she ended up loving the water and wanting to be attached to the water and she became a high level uh, scientist um, for an oceanographic institute out in Massachusetts later on that's that's what her career is that's what she does so she's she's a black woman first of all in in a in a field that is basically overrun by um, Caucasian males so that's her number one struggle um, that she sees besides the fact you know that she wants to really estrange herself from her family back in Cleveland more because she's embarrassed and she doesn't want them to bring her down she feels like they'll bring her down um, in the process her brother grows up and becomes an alcoholic and drug abuser as well so um, she's very close-hearted you know she she's a married woman but she didn't feel like she would ever be married and you know her heart is just really closed it's closed off to her family it's closed off to her husband the only really the only true love she really has is the ocean so um i don't want to tell you too much about the book but i will say um i give this book three out of five stars i did like the book i linked my goodreads um page down below also if you want to be my friend on goodreads and see what else i've read in the past i haven't written any um reviews on my books i'm gonna try to get into that but i don't know when that's gonna happen so I will give this book three out of five stars. I love the way the author allowed the other characters in the story to come in and to, you know, say their piece or give their side of their stories. Um, the one thing I didn't like, and I think, you know, it, fe it felt a little bit like the author was confused. Um, in the beginning, Josie starts off by saying she's going to tell the stories of the other people as she thought it would have happened because she wasn't there at the time. I think the author just should have let the individual characters tell their story. I think it would have been better at that because at points in the book you kind of get confused as to why Josie has begun to tell this piece when this, you know, this other character could have easily just went ahead and told their story. Um, so, but I did like the fact that, you know, at points in the book, she allowed the other characters to go ahead and tell their story. There is a tragic surprise in the book, which was needed, um, because all through the book, I kind of felt like Josie's husband. At one point he says, you know, I, I was waiting for her to tell me that something terrible happened to her, you know, that she was molested as a child or, you know, just something crazy happened to explain how closed off she is and how, how sheltered she keeps herself in her heart. But you know, then I started to think people handle life in, in different ways. You know, what one person may see as a tragic event or may see as a reason to shut down, another person may just be able to live through it and go through it. And so I appreciate that, you know, her story is her story. It didn't have to, you know, she didn't feel the need to um, explain why she was a certain way or how she felt a certain way she she is who she is and you know she expected the people around her to accept that you know 
as it was. Um, it's funny in the book, she gets to a point where, you know, she, she's willing to open up her heart and to, and to be free and to let that go. And I think it's kind of karma coming back to her where she's not allowed to do so. And, you know, she gets her heart broken, but, um, read the book if you if you you know if you like stories like this it's not a, dr a drama filled book um it's just a really good story about you know family um attitudes uh struggle as far as you know relationship struggles um and how we how we go through that how we deal with it and how people see it from different sides you know everybody says you know the truth is three stories it's your truth the other person's truth and the actual truth so you know it was just the interesting look at all of that like i said i give the book three out of five stars i enjoyed it i didn't love it but i did enjoy it it was a good read for the week this week i um i started this morning reading the darkest child by dolores give me one second The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. I'm reading this book because a co-worker at my job suggested it. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for the week. But I think next week I'm going to pick like a mystery or a thriller or something just to get myself out of, you know, these types of stories. Um, yeah, because that, that's more what I like anyway. So I think next week I'm going to read like a thriller or a mystery. If you have any suggestions about what that could be, please leave those down below. If you've read this book and you have an opinion, please leave that down below. Like, rate, and subscribe. And thank you guys for subscribing that are watching me. I'm not talking to myself anymore. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> okay, have a good night. Bye.